and said, by the power of Grayskull. Hello, this is just a quick review for Sebastian Loeb Evo Rally. Uh, this is the deluxe edition. Um, this is a on the store at the moment it's only £2.50 for the deluxe edition or £1.50 for the standard edition it's got like 80% off but I think it runs out on the 13th uh, tonight at midnight so you'll have to quickly go on and get it um, if you're wanting to uh, but they're the Loeb experience that's you can replay Sebastian Loeb's career from his early days up until he does peak Pike, uh, Pike's Peak sorry after he's retired and stuff so that's really good um, it's just telling us about your dealers, uh, your team you design your own livery and you can have a team livery for all your cars or you can have custom liveries on each of those cars like you get two custom liveries there that's the official livery or you can make up a team uh, custom one so it's quite good in that respect, you manage your own uh, rally team um, but you don't hire and fire people like you do on dirt, um, you just basically change the livery. You can mess about with your car as well, uh, you know the settings, changing the braking and the engine tuning, you can mess about with all that as well but I didn't bother because the car seems to be set up as it is, it's okay. Um, these are, the one thing I was impressed with this game um, because I, I like rally games, I'm, you know, I'm a big petal head, so I've played all the dirts as well. Um, and like I like the, the selection of cars they've got here. Like They've got a lot of retro, old school uh, rally cars, like the 03 Impreza and the 99 Focus. Um, they've got some old Peugeots in there, the, you know, like the 405 and stuff like that. So it's nice to see all these like really older style uh, rally cars because normally in this type of rally nowadays anyway um, it's a lot of high powered uh, Fiestas and Skodas and stuff like that so it's nice to see some of the old cars a lot of Citroëns are as they look the, the Citroën Saxo, uh, Saxo VTS um, you know I used to know somebody with a one of them a blue one but uh, yeah, so there's a lot of, there's a kick car there from 98, that's good, the Cleo Williams, that's a really good car, um, you know, like the Delta Integral there, that's class, the Cosworth of course, that's a legend, the 95 Impressa, that's what uh, Colin McRae drove, um, Celica is amazing, like this, the RS200, like I say there, look, the 205, that's what I meant before, the 205, not the 405. <clears throat> um, the old Rally Quattro, the Delta S4, I mean these are all classics, Stratos, but they're the 504 I meant, uh, the Abarth, Mini Cooper of course, BMW 2002 that I meant, 205 Pikes Peak, you know, and because I've got the deluxe version, these Pikes Peak uh, are free, you know, they don't cost anything to buy, so I bought the Suzuki one. Um, but I'm nowhere near under the hill climb and I'm still doing like the beginner cups and stuff. Uh, the career is big. There's lots and lots to do on the career. Um, you get lots of choice, um, different types of rallies, 70s rallies and stuff like that. So there's loads to do. Um, remember this is only £2.50 at the moment so you may as well get it. Um, again this is just going back to the liveries. Um, you get just pick the three different colours and then you just flick through the livery styles and um, I ended up with that one um, but it's up to you really I mean that gets boring after a while you'll just you'll not be bothered about what paint job you've got on you might spend a good half an hour or something customising the two slots so whenever you use this certain car you've got them two different to pick from um, but for the most part you just you're not bothered about the way it looks the original um, one that comes with it is normally better looking than anything you can design yourself so they haven't put any uh, sponsors on you know where you can just put the, the sponsors going down individual this is basically just changing the main the main pattern but if you could then add your own sponsors like Forza and a lot of other games I think, I think the new Gran Turismo lets you do that now 
you know, they would do a lot better. I think even dirt lets you customize your own liveries. I can't remember. But um, like I said, it's it's it's. Uh, I like that kind of thing where you've got control over the way your car looks. I mean, customization is always a plus in my book, but uh, it's nice to see that it's on this because I think this game's from two thousand and eighteen, so it's quite old. Um, in comparison, there's a lot of better other tracks coming out. Um, and this is I was trying it in um, in the cockpit view because I found the steering quite difficult at first it, it takes a while to get used to so I switched the steering from the analog stick to the directional buttons and I, I managed to do uh, better using the directions than I did using the analog stick but that's just because I'm a bit old school I prefer to use directions when I'm driving and um, just because that's what I used to do before there wasn't even analog sticks were a thing that's how long i've been playing a computer so I, I mean i can drive with the analog sticks but i just prefer the precise see how i'm tapping it i can tap it left and right there and it's just easier because you're not sure on how the car is going to handle it's it's like it's very it's quite responsive and when you come to a handbrake like this like if you're pulling your handbrake that's exactly what the car will do it sounds a bit stupid but I mean, you lose all of your, um, you lose all of your momentum. You lose all your speed, especially if you don't time it right. I mean, it does punish you for bad driving. This, um, I've got the difficulty on normal, um, and I've turned down. I've, I've left the stability on, and I've turned down the braking assistance and stuff, so there's nothing on, um, so you can drive normally. But I kept the stability on because went without the stability it, it, I found it, it was just annoying it wasn't difficult it was just annoying because you would race really well and then you'd fuck up on one bit anyways you can rewind as well which I, I used in this footage um, or in the next bit of footage I used but I can't like I wouldn't use that normally if you can turn them off you just turn it off um, that's the whole spirit of rally I mean if you go off and you go down a bank then you've got to get your car back onto the track and carry on. I mean, you're losing seconds, but tough shit. You know what I mean? That's the price you pay. Um, if you crash into a tree or something, you have to reverse and then pull away. And, you know, it costs time. But like I said, it's more realistic if you play like that. But you can rewind. Um, and I did, I think, I, I don't know if it was on this footage, but I did rewind um, just to show you like what it was like. But normally I wouldn't want to rewind, um, like I was saying, it's, it's a lot easier um, if you just like drive properly. And what's good about this is if you hold R2 and then slam on your brakes, they'll lock up, you know, because you can turn that off as well. Like you can have a lot of aid helping you from stopping the brakes, the ABS and stuff. Yeah. But if you turn it all off, if you like press too much on the R2, on the L2 trigger, sorry, it'll lock the brakes up and you just skid and then you lose your steering. So it's good in that respect. There, to see how I locked the brakes up there and I couldn't stay. I had to lash the handbrake on to turn the corner quickly. Um, so I've, I've got to used to where I actually enjoy the controls now. Um, at first, I wasn't quite sure. I didn't like it, but I found it really interesting. Um, and also, you can do supercross racing. You can do the peak spike racing. Um, you can do real rally stages um, as well. It's not just all fictitious stuff. It's like you're actually doing the rally stages and um, so a lot of, a lot's there for two pound fifty and like I said it's really enjoyable so I mean if you like rally games and you've played dirt maybe um, and you haven't got around to playing Sebastian Lowe rally I would definitely check it out um, I don't know if I would pay full price for it because I think full price is like 20 odd quid might be actually a bit more I'm not sure but I wouldn't pay full price but I would definitely get it while it's on discount um, and if you've missed the discount then just keep your eyes open in case it comes back up or maybe try and get it on disc you might pick it up for cheaper if you get it second hand on disc but it's on the store at the moment um, it's fun like rally game um, the controls a bit tricky but it's good once you get used to it and there's lots of varying tracks there's lots of things to do it'll keep you busy for £2.50 so you can't really complain but um, I like it, I think it's good, and I came into it very sceptical, but it's turned as well, and I like it, so that's it really, just go out and get it if you like the look of it, um, that's it, see you later.
You are a smelly pirate hooker.